Hello. I'm in Durham. I was going to go somewhere else today, but, uh, but that's a different story. I'm in Durham City Centre. Someone asked me one of the best places to take photographs uh, of the cathedral and the castle. Well, today it's very, very cloudy, so I'm not going to go down. So I'm going to do a quick guide from the roof. Hopefully that will be enough. A quick view is we're outside the Revolution pub. That's down the North Road where the bus station is. You come up North Road up to Milburn Gate Bridge which is here and there's a riverside footpath there you go down them stairs which wind down over here and then under the bridge and as you can see there's a path there and all you do is you walk along there as you can see there's a castle there's a cathedral and it no longer has a tea cozy on the top of it. I'm going to look down here to see, get your better position of where we need to go up. So, go on this person. You can see that tree line path there. You go down there and where the little weir is there, there's a little cottage there on the right hand side which is that side on my right up towards there and there's a little platform there that you can set your camera up on as you can see it gives you a splendid view of the cathedral it's one of my favorite views uh, and literally taken hundreds of photographs there if not thousands and there's the castle. Now if you want to photograph the castle and try and get the cathedral in, you need to be on this side of the bridge. Basically as you go down the same stairs or you can go through here. Some stairs there for you to get down. Zoom out. You go over there, you can get the weir in, you can get the bridge in that I'm stood on. You can get the castle in. And you can also get the cathedral in if you go far enough down. Uh, and obviously, it's a very popular tourist spot as well. People love to have the photographs taken here. But if you want to take some nice photographs of the cathedral, and not up from the cathedral green, this is where you really need to be. Now we've got an alternate view now. We've come up the street we're on over the bridge up into the marketplace what you need to do at the marketplace you need to turn right come up the steep hill and then you'll come to this which is at the bottom where there's uh, blue cars coming up it's quite steep but it's only a short climb so that brings you out to this view because this is the front view of the cathedral which is the one you'll see on nearly every single picture postcard with a few exceptions so that's the alternative that's this is cathedral green uh, for obvious for obvious reasons so you get some really nice shots of here some trees there that can put a bit of atmosphere in and change it uh, it was great when they had the tea cozy on because I came and stood over there near the post box Set it up on a tripod and the tree hid most of the tea cozy. So for a different uh, view of the cathedral, there's the one you want to take. Now we're going to head over to that top corner there and we're going to turn left. We'll catch you then. I've now walked down from where I pointed up before from the top. I'll just check if we need to reap. Uh, this is an alternate. In fact, one of my favourite pictures I've ever taken was of people walking up this hill where, with an umbrella and a backpack. Uh, it's in fact one I have uh, on my wall, in fact it's the only photograph I think I've ever taken that's on my wall. I've got photographs I've taken on other people's walls that I know of. So this is a view that you wouldn't normally see a photograph taken from. I know there is one or two that have. Let's move down here. Because So that's a, 
another end of the picture, nice stained glass window. That's one if you walk through the door, turn left into the building, uh, down the main aisle. Uh, that's where you will find that window and it's an, just an alternate view to take from. We've now crossed the river and as you can see this is an alternate view down that was that's the same end as where we were before that I photographed the one where I was telling you where my photograph I have on the wall of the guy with the umbrella walking up the hill in the rain you do is come over the bridge that was designed in the 1960s to Dunelm the student union which is there uh, believe it or not that and the bridge that I've just crossed over were designed by the same person who designed Sydney Opera House uh, and this is based at Old Elbert at the top there is a church further up there which you can use up there on the river bank obviously it's covered by a tree that in the winter isn't always covered by greenery I don't know how much you can see because it is quite dark uh, up there that's just an alternative one now, of course other places that you can take photographs from what I'll do is I'm not, I'll put some still photos on in the video as well so you can see where they are one is the one anybody who was on Facebook the other day was down by the race course ground anybody familiar with the Derren Big Meet that is where the do the speeches after they've done them all the marching the meet all down there uh, have a bit of fun I walked right back up the hill this is the path I came down from that to take the view from over the road over the river you just follow this road down here and this concrete award winning bridge will take you over to uh, old, uh, Elbert where you can get the photographs that, uh, from the other side of the road with all the greenery of the top of the cathedral